Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a quick way to get a rough comparison of utilizing TCP versus FastP with your protect storage pool command with your IBM Spectrum Protect version 716 utilizing Aspera FastP. I'm assuming you've already set up your replication pairs inside of Spectrum Protect and you've already installed a FastP trial license. If you haven't, please watch one of my more detailed videos which will walk you through that process. First thing you're going to do is obtain TCP IP transfer rates from your source Spectrum Protect server. From the admin command line, issue protect storage pool, the container name, transfer method equals TCP, which is the default, and max sessions equals 10, which is the default. Wait about 15 minutes for the process to kick off and start transferring data. Issue a query session, and that'll verify that you have the COM method of TCP IP. And finally, you're going to cancel that protect storage pool process. Next, we're going to run the same process but use FastP. Prior to using FastP, we want to open up the throttle for the FastP transfer. We're going to issue the set op FastP target rate. 750,000, and this is for a 10 gig network. This will open the throttle for each session to 750,000 kilobits. We then issue protect storage pool, container, transfer method equals fast P, and max sessions equals eight. Wait about 15 minutes, issue a query session, and verify that you have the TCP IP sessions that are paired with your fast P sessions. The server chatter between the source and target server will go over TCP IP, and the FastP will be used for the actual data transfer. We'll then go ahead and cancel that protect storage pool command. And now you'll issue this query ACK log search equals ANR 4980I, and you'll see two entries. The first entry will be from your TCP IP, and the second one will be from your FastP protect storage pool. Take the amount transferred and divide it by the time converted into seconds. Now do be aware of if this is megabytes or gigabytes when we're talking about the amount transferred. You'll then do another calculation, this time using the fast P amount transferred and the length of time for that fast P session. This will give you two rough estimates. We call it a rough estimate because the elapsed time inside of the query ACK log does not include seconds. A quick look at the activity log shows the TCP IP session transferred 2,346 megabytes in just about 14 minutes. That's 2.346 gigabytes. Compare that to the FASTP session which transferred 271 gigabytes in just 13 minutes. Easily two orders of magnitude improvement when using FASTP. If you want a more detailed methodology for getting transfer rates, check out one of my other videos. Thank you.